This question requires us to calculate the interquartile range. And if we look at this vertical axis, we have cumulative frequency. And that goes from zero all the way to 100. So to calculate the interquartile range, I need to divide this into quarters. I find the first quartile and the third quartile and subtract the first from the third. So the third quartile, we take 100, divide it by four, and then multiply by three. That's obviously 75. So what we do is we go across from 75, which is here, we draw a horizontal line across until we hit the curve. We then draw a vertical line down and we read off the score, which is 30. Just drawing some arrows to indicate which way I've gone. We then need to do the same for the first quartile. So the first quartile. Well, again, we take 100 and we divide by four, and that gives us the first quartile of 25. So what I need to do is go across from 25 here until I hit the curve and then go vertically down and read off this score here, which would be 18. Again, I'll just draw in some little arrows to indicate which way we've gone. So the interquartile range is equal to the third quartile value, which is 30. Subtract the first quartile value, which is 18. And that gives us a value of 12. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell. 